Hello, football fans. Well, Christmas is coming, and there's a lot to discuss regarding the playoff picture entering Week 16. It is a pivotal week because once the holidays roll around, that's when time really starts to run out for teams trying to get into the playoffs. But um, enough, enough um, lollygagging. Let's get down to business. Here is the playoff. Here's the playoff picture entering Week 16, starting with the AFC. In the AFC, the Ravens hold on to the number one seed and they are playoff bound at 11 and 3. The Miami Dolphins are 10 and 4 and hold a number two spot. The Kansas City Chiefs, with their win over the Patriots, improve to 9 and 5 and are number three, while the Jags are on a bit of a losing skin. They are in a three way tie with the Colts and the Texans, but luckily for them, they hold tiebreakers head to head over both teams, so they hold the number four position at 8 and 6. Pardon. As for the uh, wild card positions, the Cleveland Browns on a roll are nine and five, hold a number five spot, and it's followed by an eight and six log jam. Uh, on top of that log jam is the Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals, with the, with due to many head, to, due, due to many tiebreakers, the, at number six, the Colts are number seven, and the Texans and the Bills are behind the playoff line, but not by much. Uh, the Steelers. And the Broncos are slowly fading at 7-7, seven seven, but hanging on. Uh, the Raiders are closing on elimination, and the Chargers are basically waiting for the plug to be pulled. But they don't care because they fired Staley. In the NFC, the NFC West champion 49ers are on top of the conference at 11-3. Followed by the Cowboys, still holding the number two spot and also playoff bound despite a loss as they drop to 10 and 4. The Detroit Lions are also 10 and 4 and hold the number three position. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers lead the NFC South at 7 and 7 and hold the number four position, which again, it's going to be the permanent uh, NFC South position from this point on, pretty much. Uh, the Eagles are still in a wild card position after their third straight loss. To a third string loss, they're at 10 and 4. It's below them that where it gets interesting. It's a 7 and 7 long jam between four teams, and the Vikings are on top of that long jam. They are still in the sixth position despite their overtime loss to Cincy. The Rams moved into the number seven spot uh, with their win over the Washington Commanders, who uh, were eliminated this past week. The Seahawks and Saints are outside the playoff line as are the Falcons and, unfortunately, the Packers um, at 6-8, and eight, but not far behind. Uh, the Giants and the Bears have an outside shot, but that's all they have at 5-9. and nine. Both teams could be eliminated this week, but they'll need a loss, but it will require a loss and some help elsewhere. Four divisions can be clinched this week. One of them is the AFC North. The Baltimore Ravens locked in the playoff spot last week with their win on Sunday Night Football. This week, they can win the AFC North. They need a win and a Cleveland loss or tie. If they tie, Cleveland has to lose. The Ravens have a quite of a tough task ahead of them. On Christmas Day, the last of the three games on Christmas, they'll be in Santa Clara facing off against the 49ers. One of four teams who can join the playoff party is the Miami Dolphins. Now the Dolphins, the Dolphins can actually get get, uh, get in the playoffs simply. All they have to do is win. That's it. There are five other ways to get in that involve a tie. They all they involve Jacksonville losing, or Cincy and either Indy or Houston losing, or tying, or Houston uh, Houston and Indy have to lose, or Cleveland has to lose, Indy has to lose a tie with a Miami tie. But the simplest scenario is a win. If they win, they're officially in. If they win and the Bills lose a tie, then Miami wins the AFC East. If, if Miami ties and Buffalo loses, same result. The Dolphins are at home against the Dallas Cowboys. Ladies and gentlemen, your reigning, defending, undisputed Super Bowl heavyweight champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, can win the division this week. All they have to do is win on Christmas over the Raiders. That's it. No questions asked.
If they tie, Denver has to lose because Denver plays before them. So if Denver loses before Kansas City takes the field on Christmas Day, then Kansas City can tie and still get the AFC West. How about those Cleveland Browns, huh? It didn't look like they had a shot of getting in, but they have a shot of getting in this early. I mean, all the, all the nonsense they went through, realizing that, that they wasted too much money on uh, Deshaun Watson, he's out for the year, and they went through all sorts of quarterbacks until having to start Joe Flacco. Yet, they're winning with Joe Flacco, and because of it, this week they have a shot, they have a chance to quit your playoff spot, but it won't be easy. They need a win, but they'll need help elsewhere. They have eight scenarios that all require a win and something else. And it's a mix of a lot of things. I think the first scenario is a win, a Denver loss or tie, a Colts loss or tie, a Buffalo loss, and a Miami win or tie, if you can believe that. But a lot of scenarios involve, um, like, Denver losing, Denver losing, Pittsburgh losing, uh, Buffalo losing. But I, I, I won't go through all of it, but um, Cleveland can get it. They just need a win and, and I think a couple of those bubble teams to be knocked out just one more peg. The 49ers are the lone team that so far that's clinched the division this year, this season. They won the NFC West last week when they beat the uh, Cardinals. All that's left for them is the number one seed. They can actually wrap it up this week. All they need is to beat is to beat the Ravens and before and before they take the field, if the Cowboys, Eagles, and Lions all lose. A Frisco win will mean the road in the NFC will go through Santa Clara, and I would think the Niners would want that, considering what happened in last year's NFC Championship in Philly. So, if the if the Cowboys, if the, if the Cowboys and the Lions lose on Sunday, and Philly loses early early Monday, a, a Niners win will get them the number one seed in the conference. The Lions had a chance to clinch a playoff spot last week, but unfortunately, what they, the last thing they needed was a Seattle loss, and Seattle came back on the Eagles. Because of that, they have an easy path to get to the playoffs, and they can clinch as early as tomorrow night. If the Rams lose their Thursday night game to the Saints, then the Lions are in. Now, the Lions are in Minnesota facing the Vikings. If the Lions win or tie that game, then the Lions will win their first division title since 1991. And back then, it was the NFC Central. The Lions have never won the NFC North since the divisions were realigned in 2002. So, Detroit has a big opportunity this Sunday. So, those are the scenarios entering Week 16. And uh, if, you, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe if you want more. If you're on TikTok, feel free to hit that follow button. My story will, on Vocal will be featured. Check it out when you can, and I'll be back to recap week 16 uh, this upcoming Tuesday. So stay tuned, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend.